All right, so I wanted to make just a kind of leak video re-talking about the kits when it is in 6 a.m. in the morning and there's a bunch of leaks, right? So I think that that is uh, pretty, like, you know, something kind of important uh, to actually, like, look back at it. Obviously, now we know the units are confirmed to be Magna and Charlotte. Um, and I just wanted to say, uh, you know, cool cosplay, right? Why not show it? Uh, pretty cool. Like, I mean, it, it's literally that. And they added the coat on for this. If we check, this is the original one. So sad that we didn't have the original hair, by the way. I, I'm kind of pissed because like this hair, bro, on Magna is so sick. But now we know. Oh, wait, no, the coat. Okay, no, the coat is there. My bad. I didn't see it. But anyway, um... All of these are now up for uh, future seasons, right? I would love to get Yuno, Asta, and Yami. Also, Noel. Like, all of these almost. I don't like Ghosts, really. Um, Sekres is going to be fun in the future. But, uh, no, these look absolutely amazing. So, yeah, no. Uh, we're going to be talking about their kits. We have the full kits. But remember, guys, I have to preface. It is the skeleton. The skeleton of a kit. Because they, of course, could change a bunch of stuff. They always do, usually. But we know that for everything, the typings and colors have stayed the same from the leaks to now like they're both magna was a red attacker and charlotte was a green supporter and in the leaks right so we're going to talk about that but uh both of these units seem very good and i uh, just want to say by the way guys make sure to profit on karen jp for the uh bond buff the yule buff at 11 a.m today i'm pretty sure it's gonna come i'm pretty sure it's at 11 uh, yeah, at 11 a.m. EST, and then the day after on uh, tomorrow, tomorrow at 11 a.m., it's going to be the 50% off stamina. So let's start getting into the leaks. I just wanted to kind of talk about that real quick. Now, if you want to get into this Discord, you could go to BCM Leaks, uh, the Twitter. I'll link it down below, and there's a link to the server here if you want to see them. I've been asked this before. Um, for some reason, I can't see my mouse, which kind of sucks, but I could highlight stuff, so that's fine. I don't know why I can't see my mouse on the... On the recording screen anyway of course magna and charlotte magna is a red attacker and charlotte is a green supporter which are honestly two very good things um if we look at it on pride win um real quick so red attackers we have uh charmy for burn we got fuego asta noel and yami and overall like she's pretty good she's very good but the way she works isn't exactly as a single target asta is a like six month old almost single target Yami is pretty much unusable uh, in PvP, so is Leo, and uh, Fuego is like AoE kind of barrier removal, and Noel, will, well, we know Noel isn't single target, but very, very good. So we are looking for a new single target, which Magna seems to be, and then for green supporter, we have Guldri, and he sucks, so let's just uh, kind of get into it. Those are, of course, the two typings and what they do exactly. Now, um, Magna himself is very good, and I just... I, let me say one last thing. I'll, I'll probably put timestamps just to say intro and then like at about like 3.30, we're starting the kits. Um, having two units is much better if the units are good. If we're really considering it, like, look, this was season five. Look how stacked season five was. Noel and then Charmy. Two amazing units, guys. Amazing. Charmy is really good for single target uh, bosses and can be used in PvP, especially now considering Magna is going to be coming. Um, and then you've also got uh, Noel, just amazing for the blue meta still. And then what's really interesting, I talked about it yesterday, but this skill page at max dupe, there's a 100% chance to gain 25% increased damage per burn. With Magna and uh, Charmy, if you put this on one of them, like, holy shit, you're doing so much damage. So anyway, I just wanted to preface that. Let's get into it finally. It's good that they're doing two if both of the units are good because if we consider season three was a dud. Season four was, I'd say, good because Charlotte was there, but like overall, meh, right? So uh, Magna, he's a single target on all three, right? We see uh, dealing damage to an enemy, uh, an enemy, and then an enemy, right? So all single target. Now, it inflicts a burn, and if they already have a burn, it inflicts another burn, so that's two burns, pretty good. Skill two, inflicts a burn, and then does the same thing if an enemy is taking a burn already inflicts another burn so two burns two burns in general then uh removes all continuous hp recovery on enemy which is good especially because he's red you want to counteract a uh, blue team with a uh, charmy which is a, a continuous hp recovery so this is very good like very very good you have to understand that um because he's red and like you need to like kill the blue units right but it's kind of hard when you're doing less damage in general so like at least getting rid of the healing is good now his ultimate is where it gets pretty crazy right um, for every instance of continuous burn damage an enemy is taking, attacks after granting a X% percent increased damage stealth buff. Bro, him and Charmy are going to be insane. Because if we look at Charmy max dupe, 
Where is she? Uh, Charming Max Dupe, why she is so good is that, first of all, she's going to apply two stacks of burn on all enemies when Pumpkin Pie is removed. So that's eight stacks right there. And then also, um, whenever it's her turn, she also is going to apply uh, just two burns randomly on a people. So that's 10 burns just out in the open. Now, of course, this is on one person. So usually you will be having the three burns on one person. So that's going to be the max amount of increased damage dealt if you're running Magna with Charmy. And since Charmy's at 109 speed, max dupe two, it's going to be looking very good. Now, what makes him way better than Red Asta is that he removes an enemy's barrier before, before he attacks. Single target, this is a guaranteed kill. You could kill, I don't know, like Noel, Rades, right? Julius too, but I, I don't recommend using Julius. But what makes this even crazier is that he's got the Julius effect. He grants an extra turn upon killing an enemy. Why this is oh, it's so good, guys. The amount of stuff this is doing, if it stays the same. So we'll say this is maybe a 30 to 50% damage dealt buff at max stacks, right? Then you're removing barrier, which means you're basically getting the guaranteed kill, including this. Because a, uh, like, a usual single target will be at about 220, 230% max dupes, not like at level 5, the skill. And then you're increasing the damage dealt, plus removing barrier, so you're doing the maximum amount of damage, plus getting an extra turn. Um, yeah, he's going to be good. He's going to be very good. The only teams he might like struggle against, depending on like if this increased damage dealt is low, would be like full blue teams. But now, I, I mean, like you're seeing a lot of different type of teams. Uh, but if they have a blue barrier user, this is going to be good. But I just, uh, him being red sucks and is good at the same time because, you know, it would have been better for, it to, for him to be green. I wish he was green, y'all. If he was green, this Magna would have instantly been like, SSS tier because you put him with uh, Charmy. Charmy's gonna apply a bunch of burns. You would maybe like the strat with her is to maybe instantly remove the pumpkin pie to apply the 10 burns, right? Or eight burns, I guess. And then Magna's gonna attack and then he's gonna kill someone because he's green type advantage, right? All that stuff. Now, um, going on from this, just like the probably the best ultimate in the game, uh, if we're being realistic, next to like Rodas's, I guess, because Rodas like stops stuns and gives an insane barrier, um, is that. And Julius is, and Julius is, Julius is as crazy as this. Um, at the start of a battle, inflicts continuous burn damage on all enemies for two turns, obviously. So um, this is good. This is very good. You're just starting off with burns. And because it's at the beginning, people uh, like will take the damage for their HP. And this is honestly really crazy if you consider the fact they'll take the damage before the barriers are applied. So that takes off of their HP. And then Magna is going to, um, before they also have defensive buffs, when it, okay, so like, let me, let me try to explain this. You apply the burn before any skills are applied, okay? Then it goes to their turn, and before they use the skill, the burn takes happens. And then they use their skills, which means if they apply a barrier, you're still going to have the HP taken off with the full amount of damage it would do because there's no like damage reduction on them already because it's before the skills that the take happens. And then on the ultimate, you remove their barrier, which means this little take at the beginning is going to be able to let this do more, basically kill, right? because they're going to have less HP than they would have because of the burn tick at the beginning, right? Now, what's really good uh, is, is his awakening passive, which uh, if an enemy is taking burn, inflicts a stun status ailment for probably one turn. And then upon taking, uh, um, upon, same thing. So like if an enemy is taking burn damage, inflicts a stun status ailment for X turns with stun immunity. So you get stun immunity, and you stun the enemy at max dupes. Very good. I'm going to guess this Magna is going to be a 109 speed unit. I really want to max this guy out, guys. Y'all don't understand. I might go crazy for this unit. I just... Something about burn DLT units. I love it, bro. I love it so much. Like, when Kafka came out in um, Star Rail... I, like, listen. She, she's cool. I don't really care for her character herself. But, like, the kit was so cool to me that you could run a DLT team. And I just love the fact that you could run burn teams... So having a Magna doing all this is insane. Now, what's even better is that his combo removes barrier. So you could put him with like Mars or like Charlotte, and then he's going to remove a barrier, which is very good. His Grimoire skill inflicts HP recovery immunity to an enemy. And then his Grimoire passive is upon attacking an enemy, taking burn damage, there's a chance to grant self-increased uh, speed, which is pretty good. This should be on this skill, uh, no, just, just in general. Oh, so this is just on anything. You're, you're going to have a chance to increase your speed. Okay, um, this... Could be better. We're going to have to see. I hope the skill page gets changed, which it probably will. But uh, overall, Magna himself looking to be amazing. By far, like, amazing, guys. Amazing. I really am liking this Magna. And he's probably going to be good 
Um, whenever that mode, like he's just gonna be good in general. I, I like this Magna. Same, better version Red Asta, basically. Ba like basically, right? Am I am I tripping? Like especially with Charmy now, like I'm so happy they're building on Burn. And it's, bro, I just remembered Fauna's coming out too. Wait, what? What does does Fauna have Burn? I forgot. Fauna is their burn. Oh my god, it's over. It's over. Burn. Oh my god, that's so good. And they increased the burn damage in season five, bro. I'm so happy. That makes me so happy. Guys, like, I love the burn meta. I love it. Like, I've made videos trying to use the red fuego, but kind of sucks. But still, like, it's just sick, right? I, I like it. I like it. So, uh, yeah. Magna is really good. Now let's move on to Charlotte. I'm just happy. I'm really happy that so far he looks, he's looking good. If I would change anything, it would have been to make him green and then the Grimoire. But the Grimoires have been really good. So we'll have to see. Now, Charlotte. Okay. Um, I'm happy and mad about Charlotte because like, 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 come on, come on. Charlotte's sick. The skin itself is sick. It's just that if we look at it, SSR, right? There's two Charlottes already. Two Charlottes already. And you're giving us a third? And both of these Charlottes are really good. Really good, guys. So it's just like, why? Come on, man. Why a third one? But like, she's also sick. So like, okay, okay, it's fine. Like, I know, I know for a fucking fact that I did not get 700 likes because of Magna. Like, actually, both like both of them are really um up there, like in terms of people liking them. Uh, you got like people just being happy with Charlotte and then Magna Magna, right? Charlotte and then Charlotte and then Magna, right? So it's like people are very happy with both of them, which is, I mean, fair enough. Like this is a really cool season. 700 likes. The last time I got even close to this was like, what? I don't think I got that in season four or five. Five. I know I, I probably did in season five, right? Um, let me, let me see. This is just a very like everywhere video, I guess, but Nah, I didn't even get there on season five. So yeah, no, for sure. People are very excited about these units. So anyway, getting onto Charlotte. She is a supporter, right? Her skill one uh, grants an SP buff to the person with the highest attack. Okay, that it's decent. I mean, it, it's nice. She might be good with Langris. She might uh, encourage like zero dupe Langrises to be much better. Now her skill two uh, is a buffing one. So it's not like uh, you're attacking with a buff. So it's going to give a designated ally an SP buff, then a designated ally a debuff immunity, which is very good. Like these two together, insanely good. Um, I would probably apply this on like a Julius just to let him like go crazy. And then uh, you have a chance to grant self a reduced skill to cooldown. Now, why is this all allies if it's designated ally? I think the translations for Charlotte are a bit weird, but I feel like this might, if this goes to AOE, this would be crazy. Now, oh, is it? I don't know. Because the way that Gulduri is worded, let me see the way that Gulduri is worded. Because this skill too is him and another ally. Use to grant a buff. Okay, so it's worded differently because this is on him and another person, right? Okay, so, um, what? Well, oh, I didn't know that gave all attack. Okay, anyway, it kind of, all right. This could be pretty good depending, but even one person getting debuff immunity could like change the game. You don't understand how big debuff immunity could be, especially if like there's a Julius on the enemy team and they target the person with a debuff immunity for the skill two. Now being able to reduce skill two cooldown is nice, but why would you... Giving it to her is interesting. We'll have to see. Now, her ultimate um, is buffing all allies. So all allies get reduced damage taken. Instantly good. Instantly really good. You guys don't understand how good um, damage reduction on ultimate is, especially when it's a buffing one compared to Williams. Because when it's buffs, it could also bite you in the ass, but I'll, we'll talk about something later. Um, so reduced damage taken, if it's like 20% minimum, insane, insane. Now, she gives um, defense penetration to the person with the highest all attack. That, that's perfect. And then if an ally has a barrier, it grants them extended barrier duration. This part, if it stays and doesn't have this, it, it, this also removes all allies' barriers. It's probably like a mistranslation. It might be, all, if it's all enemies' barriers, I'm, I'm, I can't say these words I was about to say. But I, I will go feral, okay? That's, uh, understand, right? Um, this itself is really good. So they are pushing for uh a barrier like removal kind of meta even though charlotte's a barrier if okay this has to be enemies right but we're just gonna ignore it okay we're gonna ignore this right we're gonna act as if it, it isn't there because you're not gonna extend barrier duration if you remove the allies barriers right 
But extending barriers, uh, if it's for Noel's counter barrier too, this is like Charlotte's instantly SS tier minimum. Wait, no, S tier, like S tier minimum, but like maybe SS tier in like the top 10, right? Now her passive is that uh, she grants all allies X percent of max HP as a barrier if all allies are green. Problem with that, right? Um, if we go to green units, there's no good green DPS that you would want to run. So you're not really going to be using that passive much. Um, yeah, like there's a lot of good like supporters like Mimosa, Rades, Rill. Um, even Vettel is like pretty good, but like, man, Antelar, come on. But anyway, uh, Jack, I don't really think he's that high as a single, like if he's with another DPS, sure. Like Julius, cause you could get two guaranteed stuns, but without Julius, he's not that good. Um, so yeah, this is pretty useless, but then his, her two passive is that, um, she is going to be, where is it? So she's going to be giving, uh, attacker allies. Uh, wait, every turn, you're giving attackers a barrier of her own max HP, so you're going to be building her with HP. Okay, interesting. And then uh, you're also granting self-taunt immunity, which is very good, because it's going to allow you to always use this no matter what, because when you're taunted, you can't use buff skills. I keep on saying this, and people keep on not realizing that how good taunt is. Anyway, um, partner skill um, gives a barrier. I don't really think you're going to be using this. Now, uh, the Grimoire skill on skill 2 is that it grants a designated ally status ailment immunity. Um, this stops stuns, any type of stun, like William's Transformation, Nebra's uh, Cocoon, and then uh, obviously stun itself uh, and freeze. It's completely blocked by this. So adding this on skill two is very good. Even one person. So like the one person that you choose to give this buff to, you're using this turn one guaranteed. They're going to not be able to get debuffed. They're not going to be able to get stunned. They, they can't like get anything happen to them, right? So it's like very good. Um, like this is nice. Th this part is nice. Now, um, if this is like 20% damage reduction, very good. And if it's extending barrier duration plus removing enemies barrier, now I'm just going to act as if it isn't here. Because like they had a thing where like with Julius's, it was like whack. Let me, I don't think it's here, but uh, the translations for one of them was weird. One of the kids. Now her grimoire passive is that uh, when she's taking damage from an attacker enemy, she has a chance to reduce damage taken from the attacker. Um, but yeah, no. Charlotte is also looking pretty good. The extending barrier duration is insane, if especially if it's going to be um, Noelle's barrier, like her special barrier, but both of them are very good. Um, having a green supporter, that's SSR, is good. Um, I'm all for it. I just, we need a green attacker, but it's true. Fauna, is she green? Wait, no, I, I don't care about you, which queen. Is Fauna green? Is there anything that like could tell her, tell us? Okay, sense. Yes, she's green. Okay, so in two weeks, Charlotte's gonna, her stocks go up because you're gonna be able to use a full green team with her because uh, Fauna is gonna be really good too, but I'm not talking about them. I already have a video on them. Um, and then, yeah, so these two units are very good. I recommend to summon, but I'm gonna make another video when we have the full kits. But yeah, um, also, I, I mean, I'm not full screen, sorry, but this, this OST kind of goes hard. So yeah, uh, make sure you guys... Um, take profit of this to, to more, uh, today, like in what, 37 minutes for me, it's going to be the Yule buff. So I'm going to kind of get up on my Yule a bit and I recommend doing that through the XP stages. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to multitask for that, but hope you guys are ready for these two. I am pretty ready. I'm going to be more ready when, uh, I buy more packs soon. And also this is resetting and then arena is coming back and then I'm going to get more crystals from the hall of illusions, which I actually need to get up in because I can, oh, I don't want to do Heath. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Very fun stuff. Peace.